Good day and welcome to the official press conference for match day minus one of the 2024 CONCACAF W Gold Cup for Team Canada. Joining us are coach Bev Priestman and player Chloe Lacasse. Please be reminded that we have translation available. If you have a question, kindly raise your hand to be acknowledged. After you are acknowledged, please introduce yourself by stating your name along with the media organization you represent. We kindly ask that each representative limit themselves to one question. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. We'll now open the floor to questions. Neil Davidson, you may go ahead and ask your question. Thank you, uh, Neil Davidson from the Canadian Press. Hi, Bev, nice to see you. Hey, Neil. Um, this is a slightly different tournament with the knockout round draw. Obviously, you're focused on the game tomorrow and getting the win there, but do you cast your mind a little further as to what happens next with that uh, draw? Yeah, I think obviously we should know going into our game, um, besides our group really where things sit. I think obviously we have our own aims and objectives in terms of the win and keeping the momentum going that we've got going. But of course, as technical staff, we've got one eye on what's going on elsewhere. Um, our aim will be to obviously come out of this game with really good goal differential and obviously another win. But I think ultimately the process the players have been focused on is is just keep pushing and building on the performances that we, we've had. Thank you. Uh, next question comes to us from Orlando. Orlando, please go ahead. Gracias. Muy buenas tardes para, para ver y para Cole. Una pregunta para cada una. Para Cole, eh, ¿qué tan importante mañana sacar un buen resultado ante Costa Rica y quedarse con el primer puesto del grupo y sumar nueve puntos y ser líderes? en todo lo que es la competencia y para la técnica eh, ¿qué tan complicado puede ser el partido de mañana contra Costa Rica? porque también están buscando este, ganar, posicionarse en el segundo lugar de este grupo y ¿cómo ha visto esta Copa Oro de Mujeres en todos los grupos? ya que con el partido este se cierra la primera fase de, de todos los equipos At the moment, of course, we're thrilled to be in the quarterfinals. Um, but going forward, it's very important for us to have the strongest position possible. So we're not going to take Costa Rica lightly. We know they're a team that's very difficult to break down, but we're going to be completely focused on our game plan uh, going into this game, and we want the best possible outcome. Yeah, and I think from my perspective, obviously Costa Rica have more threats um, than probably what we faced in terms of dynamic like to switch the play and, and have some some key threats up top um, that, that you've seen across this tournament. I think Canada, Costa Rica have always been good games and I don't expect any different, especially as they have to get something out of the game. You know, they're not going to, I don't think, roll over easily and we're going to have to keep our standards really high. I think whilst juggling, you know, a lot of management of players and also keeping the next game in mind. So it's going to be a, a real balancing act for us, but what I am clear on with the players and the players are, are clear to me that our standards just keep pushing because we know where we're going and um, what we do now is going to help us come July 25th for that Olympic Games and, and that's very much at the heart of the way that we're operating and how we want to play um, and we really hope to take that to, to Costa Rica irrespective of you know what they might put in front of us. We might adapt some things for them but at the same time build on what we do and do it well. Uh, John, I see your hand is up. Please go ahead and ask your question. Thank you. Hi, Bev. John Molinaro from Sportsnet. Um, I had a bigger picture question as opposed to something related to uh, the Gold Cup, if you don't mind. Um, Jesse's recent sort of transfer to uh, to Portland. Um, I just want to get sort of your reaction to that and and how you think that might sort of uh, sort of help her her personal development uh, at club level. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm really happy because I think Jesse's really happy. And I think I always say to players, whenever you're happy, often you you play your best football. And I think for Jesse, 
you know, she really stuck it out at Chelsea and, and had some incredible moments, right? Playing in, in one of the biggest leagues in the world in some of the biggest games that a player can ever play in. And I think that experience, I've seen her grow in the time that I've been in. But I think with Portland now, she'll be playing for a team where they will rely on her. You know, it's it's not necessarily in and out the lineup. I hope. I think at Portland, she'll be heavily relied upon. And I think that brings a certain quality out in Jess, Jessie that maybe feels quite um, crossed over with, with Canada and her role. And I think, you know, I'm starting to see, I think the whole team is Jessie's leadership, doing it authentically. You would like to see some crossover there as well in a team that, I think she she should go in and have a, a critical role in. So really happy that she's happy. She's closer to home. I think them consistent minutes and consistent positions is going to help her and, and help Canada. Is there any other questions? The floor is open now. Stephanie, you may go ahead and ask your question now. Hi, Coach and Chloe. Uh, this is Stephanie for ESPN. Um, I would like to ask the coach um, if you think that this game against Costa Rica is the most complicated of the Group C that you're facing right now. And for Chloe, um, I would like to ask you too because um, I know that you your team scored a lot of goals against Paraguay, against El Salvador, and somehow, of course, Costa Rica has prepared their own game against you, and they kind of try to read what you do in the offensive plays. I don't know if there's going to be like any kind of surprise or anything different from what you have developed in the last games in order to try to surprise Costa Rica as well. Thank you. <laughs> you want to go first? I go first. Um, I think going into this game, we realized that Costa Rica needs a result. Um, generally, Costa Rica plays with a lot of passion. They play with a lot of heart. Um, they're a tough team to break down, so we know that they're going to have that type of mindset going into this game, but it's going to be super important that we focus on ourselves. We keep elevating our standards. We want to keep growing throughout this tournament. Um, with 2024 in mind, Paris is in sight, so we need to keep improving upon every performance, including this one tomorrow. So, yeah, we want to have a big result against this opponent. And I think just Costa Rica, I think for myself as a coach, but also for the players, whenever the level goes up, and, and I mean that both tactically and probably, you know, what they have going forward, I think it, it really does get the best out of the group. Myself, I think, to try and solve some tactical problems, it's going to prime us really well um, going into the knockout stage. So I think we knew the standard go up and up and up throughout our group, and hopefully it'll prepare us well going into that, that next round. But yeah, absolutely, I think we... It will be maybe a game of chess because both teams have seen two games now. Um, and, and obviously we've played a certain way in them two games. And now it's about what does that chess match look like a little bit. But also, you know, tactics aside, I think the, the behaviours that I want to see from the team in terms of moving the ball quickly, bringing out some personality with what we do with the ball, and then the discipline to, to make sure that we don't switch off and that discipline has to go up as the level goes up. All right, we have come to the end of this press conference for Team Canada. We're glad you could join us, Coach Bev Priestman and Chloe Lacasse. Good luck in your upcoming game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.